Hi all, welcome all you to the Power Mill Tips and Tricks video. And in this video, I'm going to cover one of the best tips and tricks, particularly when you are trying to create a pre-drill tool path for the existing milling tool path. For example, I do have a tool path here, which is a constant set tool path. As it is a soft material, I can able to create a tool path with the maximum depth with one cut. At the same time, you can able to see there are plunging taking place on each slots. So we can able to provide a drill so that the milling tool path will go more efficiently. So for that, when you right click the whole feature set, then you can able to change the create from model to plunge and you specify the diameter and apply. Now you can able to see that you can have the whole feature at each plunge point. And now you can able to create a drilling tool path. So selecting a deep drilling tool path here and selecting my flat cutter as a 10 mm end mill. And you can specify your peg depth and calculate actually. So with that, you can able to create a drilling tool path at each plunge points so that when a milling operation is happening, it will be more smooth and efficient, actually. Thank you.